in the place of the field width, we supply the field width first and then we supply the precision. So we could have a field width of 6 but a precision of only 3, so half that. Uh, so if we had hello, then we tried to print that out, we would only get hell uh, with one L, so it's not quite hell. Uh, but we'd get those three spaces because the field width was three, okay? So now we are done with uh, field width and precision. Next thing we're going to look at is zero padding. Now zero padding, um, and the next few things we're going to look at, um, are conversion flags, which means they come after the percent character, but before the field width and before the precision, okay? Oh, and just a, a note on this you can't do something like um, like this, you can't do percent and then the field width and then uh, and then the precision and then try and specify the field width because that will say the precision is 510 the way Python differentiates between the field width and the precision is by that period so the uh, field width 10 and then the period says stop defining the field width precision is 5 okay so you can't change around the order okay so anyway, back to zero padding. Zero padding comes right after the um, percent sign. Okay, so if we, uh, well actually before we do it, let's talk about what zero padding is. Um, basically, instead of having, um, if your field width is 10, but you supply, for instance, a number, because the conversion type was, a, for instance, i or f for integer or float, um, but you only supply a uh, hundred, you know, one hundred as the value, but the field width is ten, and you have zero padding there. Rather than having um, s seven spaces in front of the one hundred uh, value, you would have seven zeros in front of one hundred. Okay, so that's what zero padding is. So let's look at it in action. Now you might be thinking, okay, so I have a zero, and then I have ten as the field width, but Wait a minute, that looks like just um, 10 with a 0 in front. Well, Python manages to work out that the 0 means 0 padding, and then, because that's a 0, um, start looking at for the field width. And if there's no field width, then start looking for the precision, and if there's no precision, start looking for the conversion type, okay? Uh, so, Python can figure out the 0 means the precision, and then whatever number comes after, if it's if there's no period, that would be the field width, and then if there's a period and then there's a number, that means the um, precision, okay? So, Python can work that out. So, uh, we're going to have 0 padding with a field width of 10, and it's going to be an integer. And, whoops, we're going to supply the value uh, 100, like I said we should, we would do before. Uh, and you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros before the 100 value. So it's filled in the blank spaces with zeros rather than um, just a space. Okay, if I took away that zero, it would be 7 zeros instead of, uh, sorry, 7 spaces instead of 7 zeros. Okay, uh, so the next thing we're going to look at uh, is alignment. Now, uh, obviously, by default, Python aligns to the right. Now, you might be thinking, what are you talking about? No, they don't. No, it doesn't. Uh, if you look here, that's to the left, obviously, stupid as it. It's not to the right over here, is it? Uh, now, um, when I say it aligns to uh, the left, uh, sorry, it aligns to the right by default, I mean, when you have a field width and you supply a value which is less than the field width, it aligns to the right of the field width. So it puts your value right at the end, shoves it right to the end uh, of the field width, and then puts those spaces, or if you're using zero padding, it puts the zeros um, to the left of the field width. Okay. Uh, so alignment allows us to change that around. It allows us to put the the um, the supply value to the left and the uh, empty spaces, if there are any, to the right. Okay, so um, align uh, to a left align. Obviously, you can only left align. There's no con there's no conversion flag for right align because it does that by default. To left align, left alignment is a conversion flag, so it comes right after the percent sign. And to do it, you just put a minus sign. Okay. Uh, and then say I have again a field width of 10 and 
an integer, and then I supply the value 100. Well, at the moment I can't see anything, but if you, um, the best way I can think of is to go as far to the right as you can of this line, okay, of this line, and just click, and, okay, it's not actually doing it. There we go. Okay, so don't go so far away, don't go, like, this far away. Do it about here or something. And you can see, um, by default, uh, Windows in this case, it will be Windows which is doing it, uh, will put your cursor at the very end of the string. And if I start highlighting from here, I can see one space, two space, three space, four space, five space, six space, seven space. So there are seven spaces uh, because we got three characters here, so three plus seven obviously is ten equals the field width, okay? Uh, another way to do it, you can just click and drag and then it will highlight the whole string there. Now that's the uh, probably the harder way to do it. The easiest way to check if you are getting that field width and the alignment is to have, uh, again, let's do that, but then have um, a value after it, so something like the value hey, okay, and then supply 100. And you can see here, if I put my cursor there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait a minute, why are there 8? Uh, the reason is because there are 7 plus the one space that I put in there myself. You can see there's a space that uh, I applied. If it was just, um, oops, sorry guys, uh, if it was just this, you would see uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, as expected. And the reason uh, it doesn't think the H and the E and the Y are something to do with the string format is because the last thing that comes when formatting a, s a value is the conversion type. And the conversion type is always only one character. So it can tell I is the conversion type and then the H and the E and the Y are just part of the string. Okay. Um, we're almost at the end. We've just got two more things to cover now. These are also conversion flags. Um, the next conversion we flag we have is just a space, okay? So if you have um, something like this, percent and then a space is a conversion flag and then an integer, what this will do, uh, an integer is a conversion type, that, will, that is, uh, what this will do is it will put a space in front of um, any positive number, okay? Be it an integer or a float, it will put a space in front of it so long as it's positive. So if I supply it the value, for instance, 10, you can see there's a space in front of the 10. But if I copy this value, and I put minus in front of the 10, so it's minus 10, you can see there's no space. And what this does is it helps you to align numbers, as you can see there, okay? Uh, now, another way to uh, align numbers, if you want uh, to not have that space, but you still want to make them align like that, you can choose to have, rather than a blank space, you could have a plus sign in front of positive numbers, and obviously the minus sign always comes up in front of negative numbers. Uh, to get that plus sign, uh, you use a conversion flag plus, okay? That doesn't align to the right, because, you know, minus the minus conversion flag aligns to the left. Um, plus doesn't align to the right, it puts a plus sign in front of positive numbers. Um, and so if I do percent 10 here, you can see we get plus 10. Okay, and if I supply it minus 10, we don't get a plus in front of it, we get the minus because it's a minus number, and that will align the numbers uh, as you want to. Uh, so you can see that we have two ways to align numbers. Um, so that pretty much brings an end to this tutorial. I'm pretty sure it's uh, been very long. I'm going to check it right now. Whoa, shite, that's pretty long. Okay. Uh, well, I'll end this right now, so I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys, over and out.